Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the LT Foods Earnings Conference Call hosted by Motilal Oswal Financial Services. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode, and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchtone telephone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Suman Kumar from Motilal Oswal Financial Services. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and very warm welcome to LT Food uh, Q1 FY22 Post Real Earning Call, hosted by Motilal Oswal Financial Services. On the call today, we have management team being represented by Mr. Ashwini Kumar Arora, MD and CEO, Mr. Vivek Chandra, CEO, Consumer Business. uh miss monica chavla uh, vp vp finance and strategy and mr sachin gupta group finance controller will begin the call with the key thoughts from the management team thereafter we will open the floor for q and a i i would now like to request the management to, to share their perspective on the performance of the company thank you and over to you sir <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on our earnings conference call. I would like to highlight that certain statements made or discussed on the conference call today will be forward-looking statements, and a disclaimer to this effect has been included in the results presentation shared with you earlier. Result documents are available on company's website have, and have also been uploaded on the stock exchanges. A transcript of this call would also be made available on the investor section of the company's website. I would like to begin by taking you through the key highlights of quarter financial year 22. On sequential basis, our consolidated revenue for the quarter one financial year 22 was up by 5% at rupees 1,233 crores versus rupees 1,165 crores in the quarter one. Quarter four financial year 21, on account of the increased sales from the organic business and the. Quarter one gifty so that only that. Kya gifty ne apna kaun? The other income. Uh, the other income was up by 63% on account of the exchange gain which is otherwise our regular income but due to the accounting norms it has been classified as other income and one time exceptional incentive received from the government the gross profit was up by 4% for from rupees 383 crores to rupees 397 crores though the margins were reduced by 45 bits to 32.5% due to increase in input cost the other expenses were down by 62 bits versus last quarter this led to an expansion in the beta margins by 28 bits to 12.2% versus 11.9% in the quarter 4 financial year 21 and was up by 7.5% from rupees 138 to rupees 149 crores the finance cost reduced by 12% and the overall fund cost was down from 7.45% to 4% This led to an increase in the PBT by 16% to rupees 102 crores, while the margins expanded by 82 bits to 8.4%. The PAT increased by 28% to rupees 76 crores, while the margins expanded by 110 bits to 6.2%. The earning per share was also up by 29% to rupees 2.27 per share versus rupees 1.76. The cash profit is also up by 16% from rupees 105 crores to rupees 91 crores. Now I'd like to update you on all the efforts taken towards strengthening the balance sheet of the company. The debt equity ratio improved from 0.66 to 0.59 times as the overall debt of the company was down by rupees 95 crores to rupees 1158 crores on Q on Q basis. This is to reiterate that majority of our debt is working capital debt, which is required because of the nature of our business, and our focus is to maintain the debt to EBITDA ratio between two to three times, which stood at 1.9 times versus 2.3 times. Current ratio also improved significantly to 1.83 from 1.70 last year. The return on capital employed was up by 175 bips from 13.7 percent to 15.4 percent. The return on equity was up by 301 bits from 12.6% to 15.7%. 
On year-on-year -year basis, the consolidated revenue for quarter one financial year 22 stood at rupees 1,223 crores. That was almost at par versus last year, as there was a significant pantry stocking last year across globe due to pandemic. The other income increased on account of the one-time exceptional incentive and the exchange profits. The gross profit was up by 2% from Rs. 389 crores to Rs. 397 crores. The margins were up by 102 bits to 32.5% due to change in product mix. The employee cost was up by 23% on year-on-year -on -year basis, but if you see quarter-on-quarter, -quarter, it is increased only by 4%. Last year, there was a good growth in the U.S. and Europe, and we have strengthened our team globally in the last year. The other expenses were up by 5% versus last year on account of the additional investments in the brand of approximately rupees 5 crores and the digital transformation for our supply chain and HR function, also amounting to rupees 5 crores. All these initiatives will help us to strengthen our business to bring more efficiency in the working capital and improve the service level. The EBITDA margins reduced by 94 bits to 12.2% from 13.1% versus last year. The company has generated significant free cash flow amounting to Rs. 135 crores, driven by strong performance in quarter one financial year 22 that has led to decline in overall debt by 148 crores. This further led to a reduction in the finance cost by 38% and the overall fund cost was down from 7.52% to 4%. The PBT reduced by 7% to Rs. 102 crores, while the margins contracted by 49 bits to 8.4%. The PAT reduced by 8% to 76 crores, while the margins contracted by 45 bits to 6.2%. Now, I, I invite Mr. Ashwini Arora to give his comments on the business outlook. Thank you, Monica. Good evening and thank you for joining us on the call today. The company is performing well and in line with the annual operating plan. In the international market, the business has normalized and the company is performing well and will deliver in line with our target. Now, there is still some impact of the pandemic in the Indian market. We are optimistic on the outlook of, of the overall business as the category is growing in our core business and we are well placed to capture the growth with the combination of our strong brands such as Dawat and Royal, global supply chain hubs and wide distribution network in India and the cross geographies. The organic segment is also growing in India and globally and LT food has been consistently capturing a significant share in this space as well. Another growth engine for the business that is new product based on health and convenience platform are also performing in line with our expectation and we are optimistic on its growth trajectory. The company will continue its journey of creating a strong, progressive, sustainable, profitable and growing consumer business across all geographies. Thank you. Now we open the session for question and answers. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question, we press star and one on the touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may please press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Thank you. The first question is from the line of Yash Gupta from Angel Broking. Please go ahead. Uh, so first question is on the volume again sir so this time also volume disappoints uh, at 115 and last time also it was down so uh, you said that it's due to the saudi india issues and all so uh, what is this quarter issue is the same issues continuing so uh, as far as you know the branded volumes are concerned uh, uh, mr yash you know that that's growing only there can be impact on the private label uh, you know that that may recover you know uh, in the coming quarters but as far as consumer branded business that is growing 
so uh, what's uh, what's any update on the saudi market whether it's a back to the normal or it's a, uh, still the inventory and all those it, issues it are it will take you know it will take uh, uh, another quarter to come it back okay so next quarter also we are expecting the uh, same line of volume uh, on the on the branded side you will see the growth you know uh, we are growing by 8% and uh, uh, we are expecting the same kind of growth okay and second question on the china market uh, how uh, how the china market this quarter uh, how, how much quantity we have exported uh, there so china is a little slower uh, to its peak uh, it's, it's a, a very kind of uh, you know it's, it's not a regular business line of lt food uh, as you know lt food is a, uh, among the few registered in china to get it exported and the, the opportunity was good and we could but that's not a kind of strategic line of business for us uh, no would you like to give some any amount of that quantity we have export, uh, exported this quarter that like uh, last quarter i think uh, what i remember is that around to be 20000 we have done so is there any amount uh, quantity that you want to give yeah. so uh, as far as the quantity goes na in quarter 1 we have uh, in this quarter we have exported 23000 tons of uh, china business okay and uh, uh, what's the expectation uh, as of now almost one month of july so it's in the same line going to be in the same line or uh, is there any change into it it will be slow little slow little slow this quarter yeah yeah okay and sir uh, one more question on the domestic demand how you are uh, seeing the domestic uh, demand the all those pent up demand everything everything is uh, i think now uh, normalized so how you are looking this particular quarter the upcoming quarter uh, from july uh, to uh, you know uh, we are very optimistic on that and uh, you know the july month is saying uh, as this so we are expecting uh, better quarter as far as india is concerned this this quarter coming quarter okay so better quarter that means the india revenue growth may be of 10 to 12% or double, double digit uh, something kind of growth or it's just a single another quarter of a single growth in the uh, indian domestic market mm, so if you if you compare with the you know uh, quarter on quarter you know it will be in the range of double digit in the range of double digit okay sure thank you sir thank you The next question is from the line of Nilesh Toshi from Green Lantern. Please go ahead. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you for taking my question. Uh, you, in your opening remarks, spoke about you want to grow the business sustainable, profitable, etc. But I think every entrepreneur or businessman would want to do that. So, instead of that, can you take us through more granularity that how exactly you want to drive the business? Because what appears is that. Uh, uh we were talking about 10 12% growth rate one and a half two years ago but now we are coming back to 6 7 8% growth rate a b ebitda margins are not improving it is showing that either you are not able to pass on the cost pressure or there is some resistance or reluctance on the part of management to do that and three that uh, actually in terms of cost management like your employee cost has gone up but that is not reflecting into the revenue so can you sir please help us because we really want to understand that where you want this business to be in next 3 years time and where you want your ebitda to be because you also know that one of the large peer competitors margins are at 18 19 20% and we have been struggling at around 12% for last many years in fact last 2 years so i would really be thankful to you if you can help us in detail uh, understanding of the business and the strategy You sure, have. Nilesh. Uh, thank you for this question. If you see, you know, for the last three years, you know, our we have a CAGR growth of nine percent, and our PAT margin has grown by forty-five percent. And you know, uh, we have improved on the both in uh, return on equity and the ROCI. Uh, you know, uh, as far as you know, uh, we, uh, as I said, you know, uh, if you are saying, you know, uh, this is in every businessman's. Uh, you know vision but uh, on that vision we have you know we have given the growth uh, both uh, as i said you know for the last 3 year in top line and in the bottom line and as far as uh, expense are concerned you know uh, uh, you know uh, in, we have uh, our half of the business in uh, in the europe and america and the people cost are high but you know 
we we are we are delivering on the on the margin expect uh, expectation so sir can you can you help us in terms of what kind of vision or a target you have uh, in terms of reaching let's say over next 3 years uh, on the revenue side and on the ebitda margin side because cross margin is again not going through we're working on uh, kind of three we call it three engines one is the core business which is basmatna and uh, we as a company is very well placed uh, across all geography and uh, as as the category will grow uh, you know with our strong brand and distribution uh, we will we will do better than the category growth and we are delivering on that as far as the organic business is concerned if you have seen for the last uh, you know five years that's giving you know uh, an excellent growth you know last year we have grown by 50% this quarter also you know um, we have given a very good growth as far as third engine is concerned which is the new product line which is uh, on the base of uh, convenience and uh, health platform uh, uh, we have launched kappa rise that's uh, you know uh, we are getting very good response um, on the sorted sauces we are getting very good response we have launched rth in america that's again you know giving a very good strong so as a company and as a management we feel that you know um, we are uh, we have developed a very strong business and kind of unique business which has a global uh, platform uh, to grow so we are very optimistic nilesh on the business side yeah but sir can you if you if you don't mind uh, can sure, you sure sure where we want to be sir because one thing i am not able to understand maybe if you can help us Uh, understand in detail so is that how the it. category can grow i mean how do you induce customer to use our product versus maybe uh, uh i mean other east asian product or maybe some uh, other rice from brazil or mexico or versus indonesia so how do we induce customer in special in U- us and europe that they consume more of our product or is it sir a very price sensitive market that only if you drop at cent or a 10 cent and then only it drives it so can you please help us what kind of efforts are we taking so that uh, we actually get a physical actual volume growth versus we have a pricing power to take higher margin so nilesh uh, uh, regarding you know if we talk about usa uh, we have three four ethnicity uh, which we you know wanted to have in our portfolio in one is uh, indian and you know uh, kind of south asian diaspora now uh, we are talking to the two ethnicity which is uh, you know the uh, uh, the the east asian which is okay. the filipinos and you know and uh, they have started you know uh, we have we have the data they have started consuming basmati and third is the mexican and fourth is the mainstream consumer so our all marketing programs are working to recruit all all these ethnicity and uh, if whatever the volume growth you are seeing that is a result of that you know we are already holding 50% market share in uh, you know usa and uh, still you know we are growing there okay yeah uh, uh, monica can you help in the data point that what kind of ad spend we have uh, Uh, last year this quarter and and this quarter uh, let me answer the question in this quarter the ad spent uh, the promotion spent in this quarter was 22 crores and uh, it was 18 crores last uh, same quarter so other than india how was how much it was uh, we have uh, increased the spend of globally uh, so it is uh, india also increased and uh, there was an increase in the us as well of 2 crores okay and just last question if i may so in the last call you said that uh, there was a freight cost increase because of the container cost which is going up so is there any uh, normalization coming back or you expect that to happen uh, no no you know the rather you know uh, the freight uh, market is very bad uh, rather we we may see little impact in the coming uh, quarters also so say uh, almost you know three times the freight cost has gone up 
so so can we expect once that normalizes there would be some improvement in the margin right yeah in, uh, that will be uh, after um, we are expecting that to be normalized in roughly you know the people talking on the shipping line is and it will take another year to do that oh one more year okay yeah, okay yeah. thank you thank you so much sir thank you much thank you the next question is from the line of amitabh santalia from sks capital and research please go ahead hello uh, hi mr chopra yes, how are you and uh, yeah good good uh, so just wanted to again understand uh, uh, in line with the previous questions as to you know has last couple of quarters been uh performance been sort of uh lower than what we had expected and what could be the reasons and is it also because of to the year on year figures look relatively weak because of the uh you know uh pent up uh, not pent up well uh, panic buying during the covid quarter last year uh was that a, was that a, a usually high base that we are comparing this year's growth to uh, what are the some factors you know to kind of uh, you know uh, for us to you know despite all the efforts that we're making in new product launches organic business uh, the you know kappa rice and all the other innovative stuff that we've taken in brand building and distribution and you know uh, which on and and even uh, on the marketing side and considering that there are well diversified geography you know you uh, uh, what the the impression we got for in the december and quarter onwards you know your first half first nine months the trajectory was looking pretty good and the management body language was also quite positive but uh, we somehow seems to have lost the momentum you know last couple of quarters so is there some uh, something that is different or is it just a bit of a you know combination of different factors and how can the trajectory change to some, you know uh, to a reasonable growth trajectory that we should be on uh, 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 amitabh ji you know uh, if you see you know uh, we, uh, rather you know we are we are uh, whatever you know this quarter has been delivered we are uh, quite satisfied with that if you see in the a same quarter last year we are almost there and last year the quarter was you know there was a lot of pent up demand and uh, uh, and we are able to hold that uh, kind of consumer base and customer base uh, we we are very ha- happy with that uh, kind of but as i said you know uh, Uh, we will we will keep that uh, you know growth trajectory in place and uh, uh, yes you want to say ha huh. so if you talk about the growth one na and if you have the q1 numbers of uh, 19 so the revenue was 985 crores from that from there we have increased to currently a base of uh, 1200 crores so there is a increase of 24% Uh, the last year because of the pandemic and there was a stocking up of uh, materials the uh, the revenue grew but if we t- uh, take two years two years growth then also there is a growth of 24% and that is in line with the with with the year on year growth so uh, the company has grown that right and in terms of uh, profitability and uh, free cash flows etc a bit bit more on that uh is it at the desired level or are there any levers that would help us improve that uh in the remaining part of the year so we are i'm mean, generating free cash flow and if you see you know quarter on quarter and year on year you know we are we are distributing dividend and uh, we are reducing our you know even the, the borings are all working capital borings but we are reducing that and our Uh, debt bit ratio is less than 2 correct but uh, my other all all uh, metrics have improved you know the roci sure. has improved the uh, so 
he has you know it will the journey will continue the same uh, sure. growth journey will continue and your us and european business continues to be strong uh, based on what the promise was a couple of quarters ago yes it will be you know uh, uh and any any sort of growth levers there for the remainder of this year so the growth growth levers are almost you know the same uh, recruiting new consumer and uh, uh, having the more uh, customer so we are we are working on all the levers that will bring us the growth okay right uh and uh, just uh, yeah uh there was one more question i had of which i'm just just slipping off i'll i'll get back on the question queue sure, yeah. sure. anytime anytime okay. yeah thank you thank you the next question is from the line of uh, rashan jain from dsp investment managers please go ahead yeah uh, good evening sir and so evening. i have uh, So I have a couple of questions. So first is, uh, if you can just give your thoughts around the current uh, Basmati situation as an industry, in terms of uh, the uh, prices and the kind of inventory which uh, industry is carrying, and uh, possibly the situation going forward. So, uh, uh, Rishan, if your question is around, you know, uh, the the Basmati rice and as an industry as a whole we are doing good uh, uh, so i always say you know we have divided the basmati rice industry in two part one is that the companies which have complete uh, you know control on the value chain that's a farm to fork you know they are they are doing good uh, the category is uh, reasonably growing except you know iran is still a question for the industry but uh, rest of the world you know is a consumer business is growing there is a little impact on the the horeca across the world because of this you know we all know that's a covid situation and uh, we are quite hopeful uh, that uh, you know when the situation will be normal then there will be a, uh, an addition to the growth which you know the industry is uh, delivering uh, regarding you know the if your question is around paddy prices Paddy prices are very stable, and uh, the crop is. Uh, we are expecting uh, a 10% 10 to 15% lower crop than the last year, but that is in certain variety and not all the varieties. So next year, uh, we we may see you know 4 to 5% uh, higher prices in the paddy. Okay, and sir, uh, answer your question, uh, Rishan. Yeah. Also, if you can just highlight uh, in terms of uh, production and all, uh, how are things? Uh, 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 I mean, it has already completed, but uh, harvesting and all. But uh, how, what is the situation uh, compared to uh, last year? No, you Given the demand last condition. Last year crop uh, you are talking about, or the current, you know, which is. the current current which is going on but i think harvesting is completely over right uh, aap sowing ki baat kar rahe ho ha sowing for the new year so yes yeah, so sowing for the new year already you know started it will uh, end by the you know say last week of so we are already you know in the first week of gust you know so almost done you know and also last year what i was asking was last year closing stock uh, and all uh, how how is the situation with because mills must be carrying uh, inventory with them so yeah. is it normal so, or normal is very normal you know whatever the carry over is uh, will be going is a very normal to the uh, average years okay so there was this news item uh, uh, i think a few months a few weeks back that uh, uh there was this uh, uh residue uh, related issues in pakistan uh, specifically on the basmati rice um and uh, uh, this is for europe and because uh, lkf has a slightly higher share in europe within uh, indian companies 
any anything which you have heard from the customer on this side uh, not not uh, really reshim you know i have we have not heard you know uh, i have also read the newspaper and i have confirmed uh, you know uh, our company but we have not heard anything okay okay and uh, lastly sir uh, what is uh, the kind of uh, growth you are expecting this year and uh, what will be the uh, uh, absolute debt level which will by the end of this year so full year growth uh, uh, um, we are expecting you know uh, 7 to 10% and uh, as far as uh, <clears throat> bottom line is concerned uh, uh, the free cash flow is concerned you know uh, we will be all the free cash flow we will generate you know uh, will go into reducing the borrowing unless and until we some opportunity come on the, the inorganic side okay understood so no major capex this year right so normal capex is not you know it's, it's a very regular capex in the range of 70 to 80 crore rupees and okay. we are investing in uh, mostly capex in the green energy uh, this So uh, here we are putting uh, three and a half megawatt of solar power. Uh, we have uh, last uh, this year we have started you know 3.2 my, uh, megawatt you know which uh, from the from the husk you know as a fuel we will generate power. So we will be generating roughly around uh, four and a half to five megawatt of power uh, through our own generation. You know. got it uh, thank you very much and all the best thank you vishal thank you the next question is from the line of amit doshi from care pms please go ahead yeah yeah thank you uh, sir uh, uh, i think in the opinion it was other income includes one time government incentive so can you quantify and uh, uh, what was that incentive for uh, yeah this is a Uh, you know government subsidy uh, it was in the range of 6 to 7 crore okay okay so this is for what as in subsidy on account of i mean is it a uh, something that we receive annually or uh... it is it is by the you know uh, us government on the covid you know they have some incentive okay so it's a pure one okay 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 yeah, yeah. this is one time <clears throat> sir in terms of our realization you know of course last time you had mentioned last quarter that you know because of that uh, non basmati exports and the china exports etc our realizations were down uh, but this quarter also the realizations are still low so what could be the reason this quarter uh, if you talk about uh, the realizations uh, my uh, the realizations are uh, are within the range of uh, the realizations uh, they are 105 in case of the international and uh, that was same as uh, 106 of uh, the june one so the realizations are not low this time uh okay i think on the presentation i was just working out maybe i Okay. I'll just tree work and I'll just yes, check. Yes, I uh, thought I had. A if the China business is being excluded, the realizations are not low. It, this is within the within the parameters. Okay, okay. So, so you are saying one zero five uh, is the uh, international and domestic one would be? It is forty eight. It is same as uh, that of the previous. Forty eight. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Um. um uh, the horeca business uh, you mentioned uh, so we have around 20 or 25% of our domestic business is horeca is that correct uh in india yes yeah i, I believe outside we are not much into horeca so overall you know if you uh, talk the global revenue per and to 12% comes from uh, horeca okay but for domestic i think it is around 20% or so yeah 20 25% 20 25 and now uh, you know what portion do you feel it has recouped back uh, for pre pandemic levels to 10 to 12% has been recouped 
Oh, so still 90% is remaining or you are saying 10, 12 out of the 20%? Out of, you know, if, you know, uh, we were supposed to get 25% uh, uh, revenue from the Eureka, now we are getting 10 to 12%. Okay, 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 okay. So around 50% is come back. Okay, fine. Uh, 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 this uh, leave that we had acquired, uh, you know, I, I acquired in the sense we took some stake, a percentage stake. So how is it doing and how are we currently accounting for it in the books of accounts? Yes. Yes. Uh, what is around Amen? Sorry. So I missed that question, please. Ha, leave, leave that we that uh, that you know organic food business uh, that we took stake in a uh, quarter or uh, probably two quarters back. Mm -hmm. So so how is that doing and how are we accounting for the revenue and the bottom line in this uh, 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 current books of accounts? So uh, we have not uh, uh, hold the majority of that, you know, we have just done an investment around, we have taken 30% stake in that company. So that is an associate, uh, so uh, there is no, uh, the associate profits and losses are coming and uh, there is no uh, consolidation of the revenues or everything is going on. So, so only annually the, 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 the share would have get accounted for? Yes, yes, it will be uh, that way accounted. Oh, okay, okay. So how is it that doing now? I, I believe it's a very small size compared to our business, but just wanted to know because it's an organic business and our organic business is also doing extreme, I mean quite decent. So just to understand that part. Yes. Hello. Yes, so you have got the answer or you have left any? I'm, I'm asking how is that business doing or that organic business uh, leave? Of course, we have a Stake, but just to understand if you can give some perspective as to how it's growing, uh, it's you know. Business, but I, will, I don't have the just an update on that. Uh, we will let you know. Okay, fine, fine. And this uh, recent current government uh, push about uh, this fortified rice, uh, you know, they are planning to have some sort of a policy where this rice, fortified rice is a kind of a compulsion for this malnutrition, etc. So I, I believe of course, we will not be in that segment, but any any comments or anything to impact the rice industry per se? Uh, the, the, the fortification, uh, uh, you know, the, the government's uh, policies, they are executing it very well. Uh, you know, all the PDS rice they have made uh, mandatory to put, you know, do the, do the fortification um, in rice, uh, at least 70% of whatever the PDS they are getting. So the government is very serious on that, but we have also a, a small business, both as a supplier of fortified rice kernel, so that's a very small business of us. But we have launched uh, uh, Dawat Sehir, you know, which is fortified uh, rice, and uh, we are we are getting extremely very good response from the market uh, and consumers uh, is very well the need uh, of this, and uh, we are doing good on that. Okay, okay, okay. And the last question on the legal matter side, any update? Uh, 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 that insurance uh, matter that has been pending for quite some time now. So, uh, you know, uh, the, the court has resumed. Uh, you know, we had a date uh, yesterday and it's doing good. You know, we are expecting if, you know, uh, no lockdown comes and court is uh, will remain working. We are assuming that in the six months' time, uh, we will get and protect you. So the case is going very positive. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you and wish you all the very best. Thank you, Amit. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Amit Vora from PCS Securities. Please go ahead. Uh, good afternoon and thanks for taking my question. Uh, one thing I wanted to understand, what are the current realizations? Of course, you did mention about uh, the quarter gone by, but how are they shaping up uh, now? Uh, Amit, uh, uh, but what do you mean by current? I lost you, your voice there, sorry. So Amit, uh, what exactly is the question on the realization? I think that, uh, I, uh, as I understand, the 105 international and 48 domestic was the realization in Q1. So yes. what are they in Q2? How are they been uh, in? In the same range, you know. 
it's in the same range okay and if you can give me the number on other income there was some exchange uh, benefit that has been received so what is the quantum of that number so if you can you know just send your question then you know we will we will get back to you on the exact number okay and on china volume what has been the exact volume sorry if i missed that if you have given that, that earlier 23000 tons 23000 tons all right and and the this kind of volume are you going to continue for the rest of the year uh, sending it to china no you know as i said you know this is not <laughs> and three uh, there's some disturbance uh, i i lost your voice there again yeah so i said you know china is not a uh, kind of strategic line of business so this is a good opportunity came but we are not it, it's slowing down you know okay and one one feedback uh, that's on the presentation the way you have given your revenues is including the other income and that is changing the way you are looking at gross margins so how i am seeing it is that without remo- after removing the other income the gross margins have actually hit by approximately 100 bips so i, I don't know if you can just uh, look into that as well thank you for the feedback and uh, basically the well, uh, just to say that this other income is a part of the business income it is the accounting requirement that uh, states me to give this in the other income otherwise my other income is a part of the income that is an exchange income and uh, i have a normal business uh, that uh, that should be part but accounting states this as an other income so that should be included as per us also should be part of the gpr yeah in that case if you can just you know specify what the exact amount in terms of exchange uh, rate is so we can knock off the one off that's the whole uh, point if you talk about the uh, if the other income was 20 uh, so if you uh, no i mean i think you have a good uh, i think the the valid feedback uh, in future we will you know uh, take care of that you know very valid feedback thank you not very yeah thank you the next question is from the line of amitabh santalia from sks capital and research please go ahead hello uh, hi yeah. amitabh ji ha so uh, hi again uh, so my uh, this was uh, actually a uh, little bit of a non performance related question for the quarter uh, generally sir uh, you know uh, we have been uh, uh, sort of some sort of you know we been an investor friendly company putting out data meeting people for quite some time now but the uh, level of institutional interest in uh, our company is uh, abysmally low you know uh, if you leave out rabo bank uh, who's been on an exit phase you know uh, and probably reduce their stake to zero your we just have one mutual fund with a 3.5% stake and no fi nothing and this interest in the consumption space and the food space in india is so high the average pe in the industry is more than 50 and uh, you know uh, our pe continues to be like almost single digit so what is the reason and what is the management doing to address this uh, you know extreme valuation gap which uh, kind of you know is not healthy or you know almost it's it's you you're not a new company or a new management that people don't know about or have not met or recognized why is it that you know uh, especially given the bullish uh, environment in the stock markets today where uh, you know the even upstarts and newcomers in your business in the food business in general not basmati particularly but branded food business are commanding huge amount of interest and valuations from uh, all kinds of players you know institutions especially and people are willing to pay a huge uh, premium and there's a complete lack of interest in anybody owning uh, lt food stock so uh, you know just have you kind of introspected on this and what is something some measures you can take to kind of uh, improve the uh image of the company or uh, you know is this an ongoing process because it's been a long wait for uh, you know your investors yes uh, thank you mr uh, thank you for putting this question uh, as far as you know uh, the company uh, business model fund and the, uh, as i said you know consistently you know the company is growing both in terms of the top line um 
and and the bottom line you know uh, we we are delivering to the you know to the to the expectation as far as you know uh, making the balance sheet strong you know the debt bit our issue is less than 2 uh, uh, if you see on the all parameter uh, the it food is doing extremely very well uh, 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 regarding the valuation i think we are we are making uh, all our efforts to make this uh, investor community to understand you know this is this is very good company to invest in so i hope you know uh, uh, one day we will be able to make them understand you know this is this is good company uh, yeah so my my thoughts on that sir is that you know you have a very strong us business uh, yeah. and uh, you know which is under appreciated Yeah. Uh, you know how many companies in India have a sizable uh, business like yours under a, a branded business in the U.S. You know, yeah. so uh, I think uh, the company. Uh, I mean, pardon me for my uh, you know assumptions here, but maybe the company can uh, should be a little more aggressive in uh, in in doing some road shows to meet investors to get the story out. Maybe even. uh look at uh, institutional uh, placement or something like that so that there is some interest in the company because uh, uh that is one thought and the other of course is that is there you know maybe you can consider something like a buyback or uh, you know uh, if your stock continues to be undervalued that is uh, a strong tool that uh, every you know uh, even the highly valued companies in globally and in india also follow as a way to reward shareholders and to for signaling effect that partly signaling partly to return cash partly to correct the valuation gap if there is any and uh, you know maybe maybe it's time for you to consider that as well you know i understand you want to conserve cash for growth etc but it's uh, you know maybe instead of giving dividend uh, uh, you should ex- or increasing dividend rather you know uh, Perhaps would uh, I would strongly urge you to consider. All the feedback is well noted, and uh, we we will work on that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of. Uh, sorry, the next question is from the line of Nilesh Doshi from uh, Green Lantern. Please go ahead. Yeah, Ashwin ji, uh, thank Hi. you once again. Uh, I think yeah, I would like to reiterate with the previous uh, question that I think you need to do something in terms of creating a good visibility uh, for a branded business. You know, very very less number of companies have, can take such pain to create a branded business, and especially in US and Europe. So maybe you need to strengthen your team, or uh, either there's a good visibility uh, in terms of. Uh, as a company as an investment and uh, institutional participation is uh, really required uh, yes. second is is it possible to get the a bit of break up between the three segments uh, basmati organic and uh, we will we will let you know uh, we will sure if monica has let you can communicate to me yeah sure 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 second is in the new product portfolio are we making any losses currently uh, where in the new product portfolio yeah we are we are investing uh, new new businesses right. need uh, money to and we are investing yeah. so is that loss is actually uh, hurting the uh, overall margin uh, on the blended basis so maybe i will say you know uh, uh, half to 1% acha okay not yeah. not beyond that and no, sir no. how is the response the overall currently? perspective you know? Okay, and sir, how is the response so current revenue? I'm talking about here. You know? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and, and just uh, what is the response in the new product uh, going forward? I mean, how do you see currently? So, Nilesh, as I said, you know, it's a it's a very well taken. Uh, wherever you know, we have launched. We are getting. Uh, we have for the test. You know, we have launched uh, on the Amazon online. We are getting good response. We have launched. Uh, in, in, uh, any kind of uh, thought process you have sir that this business uh, 
can be of a very very big size over next 5 years or so as i as i said you know in the last you know in the next 5 uh, to 6 year the the road map is to have uh, r- roughly around uh, 15% of the revenue should come from the new product of lines which okay. is based on uh, and uh, we are we are heading towards that uh, okay uh, as far as product development is concerned that that's all yeah. you know so we are now going into the next uh, phase of uh, getting into the market and we are, we are very positive on that that's interesting and any any more products you are looking to add into the category you know some i can't disclose at the moment but you know few products are in the pipeline yeah. oh wow that's great yeah. so wish you all the best and thank you for taking thank you thank you much thank you ladies and gentlemen this was the last question for today i now hand the conference over to the management for the closing comments over to you uh, thank you everyone for your continued support hope we were able to address all your queries should you have any further question please feel free to contact our investor relation team thank you and we look forward to connecting with you again thank you and stay safe thank you members of the management ladies and gentlemen behalf of the lowest wall financial services that concludes this conference thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines